G'day and welcome to my second showcase of my modified version of Sonic Ether's 01 shaders. Now if you've seen any of my other videos, including my first video of uh, my showcase, but I didn't actually call it that, you would have seen my changes to 01 shader. And what you see now is actually my old modified version of his 01 shader. Now with his uh, release of his latest preview 2 shaders, I've actually gone back and made a lot of changes to my modified version of his 01 shader. Take on a lot of the new features from his preview 2. Uh, before I actually show any of the latest changes, I'll actually show you his latest preview 2. Now what you're seeing here is actually his preview 2, but I've actually modified it quite a lot already to incorporate the 3D volumetric clouds instead of his 2D ones. Nothing wrong with his 2D ones but his volumetric ones are a lot nicer. They're still not 100% perfect, still need to work on it a little bit. Um, but some of the things I have changed so far is as you can see I've turned on his parallax occlusional mapping which is fantastic in my opinion. I've also got his new smooth sky so there's no blurring of the blocks when clouds are behind them. I've also turned on his parallax water with a few extra little changes to get it just to my liking. And I've also turned off his atmospheric fog. I think I said that correctly. Basically, when you look off in the distance, everything sort of goes a bit hazy. As you can see from this one, if you look off in the background, it's still like this bit of a haze over the background. I personally don't like that. Other changes that I've made as well has been to the lighting. As you can see when the sun goes behind his 2D clouds, you get virtually no lighting, almost looks like default Minecraft. Now I've got no quarrels with his 2D clouds, I reckon they're quite nice. But these ones are a lot nicer. As you can see, it's the exact same time as it was just two seconds ago, but got the better lighting now. Oh yeah, one little extra thing I've added. I'm still working on it, I'm not a coder myself, but I've added it so vines move. I have one other little problem with these. There still is a little bit of pixelation around the clouds, not too much, but when it rains, they don't bunch up. Still haven't worked that one out. And as you can see, it's his new specular effects that he's got going. Looks absolutely amazing in my opinion. Now the actual texture pack I'm using is Chroma Hills, 64-bit texture pack. Uh, with my own personalized custom specular mapping put into it. One thing he hasn't added, and I'm still trying to hunt for the code, hopefully it's still floating around in this shader, is his real-time global illumination and HBAO. He put a few pictures up on his Facebook, and I thought it looked absolutely amazing. And to only lose an extra 12 FPS, I'm not quite sure why he didn't include it. Um, now, if I get enough people asking how to make these changes that I've already done to Preview 2, I might make another video showing exactly what I changed. Kind of like what I've done with my other videos that I've put out so far. Now, 
Now, we'll just quickly go back to my previous modified version of his O1 shader. And now I'll switch over to my latest. And voila! Now what I've actually been able to do is put in his new parallax occlusional mapping into my O1 shader. I've also increased the color tone so everything's a lot more vibrant. Uh, I've also fixed that blurring problem that we had with the clouds. That's no longer there. And I've also put in his parallax water. And believe it or not, I'm actually getting much better frame rate than the modified version that I've got of his preview too. So, really, in my opinion, his O1 shader is by far the superior one. I'm not quite sure why he's changed and not gone back to the style. Uh, I'm guessing it has something to do with his GI and HBAO that he's trying to put into it. Maybe it's not compatible with the way he's coded O1. But yeah, some of the other changes that I've made is the torches. I've made them look a lot brighter. Same with the glowstones. Just to give you an idea of changes. This seems to be a good spot in here to show. And I'll just chuck that one there. Now I'll just quickly go back to the previous one. Right, this is my old modified version. As you can see, the torches, even though I changed the color of them a bit, they're still not very vibrant. Glowstone doesn't look too bad. But when we go back to my new modified one, as you can see, the flames on the torches are really quite bright. And the glowstone is a bit brighter as well. One other thing I've changed is the nighttime sky. Plus the color of the clouds. Now if I quickly go back to my previous one, as you can see, the sky in this one was sort of like a tinge of blue, and the clouds were like really dark. But now, it looks a lot better. Even the moon looks a lot nicer. It's not as bright. You can actually see some of the actual texture popping through it now. Now there are still a couple of bugs, no shade I think it is ever going to be 100%, at least not for a while, is there's a light bug when a light source is placed near water. Kind of looks a bit ugly. And this is 1.7.2, so the actual parallax occlusional mapping is a little bit funny on certain sides. I'm not quite sure what that is, but it's pretty much with any shader that you use. And now, one other thing that I've also added into this is his new specular. Uh, one other thing I had to change as well, if we go back to my previous one, the specular in his old one actually needed the light source from the sun, well I'm guessing it did, to make everything look shiny, which is why you get this big bright light wherever the sun is. But with this new one, 
no longer really need it, so I've been able to tone it down quite a lot. And as you can see, it's still got the nice fog-like effect when it rains. And surprisingly or not, you get pretty good frame rate now with these new specular. And one other thing I'm quite happy about is I've been able to actually make it so it's nice and clear inside. Now if we go back to my old one, as you can see when it's raining, it sort of looks a bit hazy in here. See, it's still raining. When you come inside, in my old one, couldn't quite work out how to fix that. But now, it looks like this. So much nicer. Now some of the other features that I want to show with this new specular is the way it sort of forms puddles when it rains. As you can see, there's only really like one block space up here, hitting the ground, but it sort of forms around the other blocks a bit of a puddle-like effect. One other thing that I just want to quickly point out with this new specular is when you're on the ground like this and you have one block pointing all up to the top. Look at this. Absolutely brilliant. You can see all the water so like splash against the wall forming a puddle onto the ground. Looks amazing. Just another little bit here with it on either side. The other thing I had to fix as well was the actual raindrops coming down. Didn't look quite right. But all fixed now. And as always, the one of the nice features with having the volumetric clouds is when they clear up. You can see they disperse and go back to the way they were. Now I would like to try and see if I can get in contact with Sonic Ether and show him the changes that I've made and see if he would even think about releasing it. Because what I'll do at the end of this video is I'll put some comparison pictures with the frame rate and you'll see that this actually gets better performance than his preview. Well, preview that's been modified to have the volumetric clouds. But I've also got several different copies or variations to this shader, which I'll show you in a sec. 